So here we are with my uh, next phase of my software defined radio project. Uh, gonna decode some aircraft stuff, ADSB to be specific. Uh, we have the NOLEC unit plugged in there. I have SDR Sharp uh, fired up, and on the waterfall we can see some what look to be really small little hits. That is actually the ADSB data coming from aircraft. So here's our tuned frequency on here. Tuned to AM on here uh, doesn't really matter. We're not going to decode it from there. Um, can definitely see some data coming across. Uh, even though we have this hooked up with an alligator clip to the coax running up to my 10 meter dipole. This is not the right antenna for this job at all. Uh, but I think we'll find that uh, it will do in a pinch. So what we'll do, sorry for the shakiness of this, but uh, yeah, uh, I need to set up a tripod. We'll close this out, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up the SDR Sharp version of the ADSB. So we'll run the program. We have to close out uh, the normal SDR Sharp, otherwise it'll conflict. So it already recognized that I have a dongle that'll work in here. Uh, quite simply, we just hit start, and it's running. It should be decoding data right now. The way we can check that is we can tell that into this program, uh, into the port. So set up a telnet connection. Uh, you can Google how to do this. It's just a basic telnet connection. And you open it up and hit go. Let's see if I can stop the shakes here. So what we're seeing now is the hex data coming across from the program, blasting it out. That is data from aircraft. So uh, obviously that is not in a usable form, but it proves that we are indeed decoding data, even though we're hooked to a 10 meter dipole <laughs> with a sub $20 <laughs> SDR unit. So we'll go ahead and we're going to open up another program. We can leave that running, it doesn't hurt anything. We're going to open ADSB scope. And I've already pre-configured this. So there's my receiver location, the screen, we're all set up. Uh, there's some, some setup where, actually I can just show you real quick. You go into other, you go into network, you go into network setup. It's pretty easy. There's nothing to it. You set the port number and you set the IP address. Notice how it's set to my local IP address. So that means it's not going to be pulling from anywhere else. This is all we want to see is what's coming from this dongle. We close that out and we hit go. And with any luck on the right hand side here, we should start seeing some form of aircraft data. It doesn't always populate right away. It takes a minute before it can decode what's going on and where. And uh, I already pre-recorded, before I had to shut this thing down to do uh, the bit of tutorial, I pre-recorded when I started getting some uh, multiple aircraft good hits. Um, lots of good information. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Once this is running, it if you're actually within range, aircraft within range, broadcasting data, it will decode it and then... Uh, if there is a Latin long position being broadcast, which isn't always the case, uh, it'll plot it out on the map. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, $20 USB dongle. Uh, the the stock antenna works fine outside. Uh, obviously, range is limited, but it uh, it will work. I think I'm gonna make up a, a custom antenna for just this, so I can plug in at will and to code to my heart's content. Uh, I'll probably cut away here and skip over to the other video I pre-recorded. Uh, that aircraft we had maybe uh, went out of range or uh, yeah it uh, shows down in the bottom. We are definitely getting some reasonable data quality, lots of frame rate, uh, everything is rocking out. So we'll cut away to the next. So this is a shot with uh, with everything up and running. Uh, there's the aircraft, it's tracking right now. 
I've got four targets, uh, one of which is reporting lot and long. I'm not sure what's going on with uh, why I can't get full information for all aircraft. I'm going to have to look that up and see why that is. But uh, actually, this is uh, the first aircraft that's actually been reporting lat long and speed heading uh, and even climb rate. Um, neat. So uh, up until this point, I've only just had altitude and uh, designation, uh, occasionally ident. But uh, yeah. Here we are, and there it is, plotted. I can hold this camera somewhat steady. It's actually the screen jitters. Uh, if I walked out my door right now, I'd, that would actually, I'd have a line of sight to that aircraft, actually. And uh, I didn't pick it up until it was almost overhead. But uh, <laughs> for working with a 10 meter dipole antenna uh, through an alligator clip, I uh, really can't complain. <laughs> All things considered, that is not what that antenna is designed for. But uh, yeah, there we are with uh, the the AD, ADSB scope. Uh, this is the version 2.6 F3, which is the newest one on their website as of today. And uh, there it is running. Uh, background image. I forget which ones I picked. But uh, yep, that's uh, here we are with uh, running through the Noelic, uh under $20 USB dongle for SDR radio. This this just works awesome. Uh, I'm gonna have to build a custom ADSB antenna for this. I just have to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what more can I do with this dongle? I guess we'll see. Looks like times are getting busier on uh, on the aircraft front. I picked up another aircraft immediately after I hit end on the uh, on the camera. So. Got another one with reporting lot long speed heading and climb rate. Um, perfect. Working perfectly. There it is overlaid on the map. That one's actually quite a bit further out from me. So uh, I'm just going to let this go and see what else I can record. Uh, I'll see if I can set up some screen capture software to do better than using the, uh, the Android phone for a camera. I know this is a bad idea recording the screen, but uh, sorry to my subscribers. I just like to get the content out there. It's a little hard to do the screen capture because I have all the sound devices tied up with the SDR radio and various uh, virtual audio cables and repeaters running on the computer. So I don't think I can pipe my voice in very easily. I'd have to record it separate. So anyway, uh, there we are tracking uh, four targets currently, two plotted on the screen and tracking them beautifully. Uh, simply loving uh, these uh, these uh, DVB-T dongles, uh, unbelievable. Just what we can do, this is not coming from the internet. This is being decoded live AM uh, 1.909 gigahertz-ish. But uh, yeah, anyway, 